Okay, uh, here's another one. This one is Camel Eyes. So made by Dennis. Den, C-H-I-K-L-U-T. I never, <laughs> I never say uh, Chalukit, ch Chalut. Anyway, thanks, Dennis. Uh, implement a Camel Eyes, which converts objects from snake case to camel case. So Anthony, this is very similar to the one that we just did a few minutes ago. We did Camel Case, um, except yeah. this one... This one takes, uh, so it takes functions, or takes as an argument an object. Yeah. And you need to do recursive for each pop. So yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So let me show you. Uh, so the way that, the, the funny thing is, is that you have to handle arrays. So this wasn't, this thing with the arrays wasn't added until fairly recently. So some of the solutions online don't handle this case. It's a little simpler if you don't have to think about arrays. But I'll show you kind of the, the basics of how this, uh, um, how this works. So, uh, uh, oops, extends. So we're going to start off with, uh, we're going to start off with a check that t extends object. Um, if it doesn't extend object, that's the base case of recursion. It's just a value, so like string or something else, and we can just return t. But if it is, uh, oops, if it is, then we can, oops, we can come over here and we make our basic, uh, our basic mapping and t k. Okay, so right now this isn't doing anything, but what we have to do next is is uh, use a key remapping to change the like we have to do something in here with an as to change the actual uh, implementation or at the actual string character. So we could say like um, if we said foo here, we would see that uh, the first <laughs> the first element or the the object has foo over a one if we hovered over a one. Um, but so that's how we can actually modify the. The, the case names. So we're going to pass in camel case here, camel case with K. And uh, so if anyone wants to see camel case, we just did it in a previous challenge. I'm going to paste it below here. Um, again, we're not cheating. Go look at the you know camel case challenge and you can see how this implementation works. But that's camel casing. So we did it for, for that one, um, but we haven't handled arrays. So we need to look at the value of, of this thing here. And we're going to say, uh, if it extends unknown array, then we're going to have, uh, you know, um, we're going to make a camelize array function. And here we can pass in this particular value. So t k. And otherwise, we're just going to, it's an object. Um, and if it's an object, then we can just continue recursing. Are you with me so far? Yep. Cool. So then uh, let's put it up here. If we have camelize array of t, we're going to take t and spread it out like we do. Um, I should make a, a snippet <laughs> for this because we end up in the challenges <laughs> writing this exact thing a lot. The base case of recursion is just t. So where we recurse is here. Um, and we're going to pass in the head. And then, yeah. um, and then go through. We're going to go through camelize array, rather. Yeah. We're going to go through every member of the tail, and doing doing the same thing. So, um, the, you know, the value inside the position at the array could be anything. So we're going to pass it through the the top level type, the camelize one. If it's just a string or something, then the base case of recursion will get hit. But if it's an object okay. which matches yeah. arrays as well, um, then you know we'll pass through this way. And yeah, that's it. That's the, yeah. that's the solution or one of the solutions anyway. Um, what do you think? Um, I would actually merge those two utilities, like camelize array and camelize into one. You would put this Is right that here. You can hand those uh, before, before the extent object. Oh, okay. Uh, on, the, um, on the very beginning of that. Interesting. Okay. So like this, uh, we would say T. Yeah. And you just rem you remove the actor T. Camelize, yes. okay, and then here, yeah. something like that. Did I do it right? Camelize yeah. tail. A rest element must be an array type. Oh, um, like that. Is that what's the problem here? 
Rest element must be an array type. Um, oh, well. Um, oh, see. Yeah, because if camelize is just a particular one value, then is that is that possible? You use a s, or if it's, you if it's you not use possible s, the, to the cast on lost here. There, I do know. I do actually know. Okay, let me, let me try it. I do actually know one like super hack, um, in um, unknown array. What's the error here? Did I spell it wrong? Oops. No, I spelled it right. Okay. It's working. So <laughs> that is one, and the tests do pass, and we're we're passing without this camelize um, array. Yeah, you you also need to change the. Yeah, the, the latest. Oh, oh. Um, I just remove remove the the condition. Right, right, right. We can just do this. Yes. Mm hmm. So it actually works. Right? Yeah, it seems like it does work. Um, or TypeScript crashed. One of the two. Uh, oh no, it doesn't. Yeah. Array any. So it interesting. Doesn't. The tests. Okay. Let me restart restart TypeScript server, <laughs> and we'll see. I think okay. we crashed the TypeScript. <laughs> Oh, we crashed TypeScript. That's okay. Um, no, okay, it's any. It's any. All right, so it doesn't work, but that's okay. Uh, let me show you. I have a couple others I can show you. Um, okay. Yeah, then it makes sense you have another utilities. Yep. Um, most of them I think do, but this one doesn't. This one doesn't use any other utilities. So maybe this is similar to what you're expecting. So this does the camelize oh. word. So this we don't need to think about this. But we're we're handling the case here first. Um, oh, it, it actually added a guard, so it's fine. It's adding an actual guard. Oh so yeah, right there. Instead of just mm. it passing an array, you it returns an array. Mm hmm. Yep. That's how you yeah. fix it. Okay. Fine. Yep. Good. Good point. And then we have we're seeing here yeah. if it extends. I think this would also work uh, if we said extends object. Um, I don't know what the problem here yeah, is. That's exactly the same. Um, oh, because it has to go deeper. Okay. Well, anyway, and uh, yeah, this is casting the K to a string. Um, so this is by Ying Song Mata, the create. I think he, was he the creator of this challenge, or was the last one we looked at? Um, and then there's also one more that's uh, very similar but a little different. We're doing the same guard up here. So both of these use the approach that you found most natural. And then here they're checking to see if it extends object. If it's if it does. Uh, yeah. Then they can pass. Then you you know recurse. If not, then you just pass the value. Um, and here's the key remapping. Yeah. So pretty interesting. Um, yeah, that's funny. The the two so the two ones that I found do it the way that you would have done it. So that's kind of cool. Um, are you happy with this one? Yeah, great. Cool. I, I I'm happy with this solution too. I think this is a this is a clean enough solution. I would be I would support it. But cool. All right, on to the next one. <laughs>